Fellow Patriot, don't be fooled. World War III won't be fought between nations like the first two, and definitely not between the USA and Russia. They know the stakes, and they're not stupid enough to risk everything. No matter how crazy Putin may try to act just to scare the West, he has so much to lose. He's the most powerful man in Russia, and he doesn't want to lose that. He'll never go as far as self-destruction. But small elite groups of trained fanatics are crazy enough to kickstart the next world war. ISIS already set foot on American soil. The three jihadists arrested in Brooklyn for planning a bombing are part of a larger plot. According to the FBI, there are ISIS members in every state of the Union, just waiting for a sign. But the part that the feds leave out is these fanatics plan something far worse and much more dangerous than 9-11. ISIS plots to put the entire American nation on our knees using a revolutionary weapon that could cripple the whole country. Make no mistake, ISIS isn't a rational actor like Russia. They have nothing to lose. After they decapitated Americans and set people on fire, they burned all the bridges. They either die or they destroy America. They can't do it with brute military force. We're too powerful for that. But we're defenseless against a smart bomb that's 1,000 times more damaging than nuclear devices. It's a weapon that can instantly end modern life in America by knocking out our power grid. Nothing that has electronic components will ever work again. Cars won't start. TVs, phones, the Internet will all be dead. They're going to send us back to the Middle Ages. You'll have to make a fire to cook and use candles for light. In fact, just seconds after this calamity hits, all social structures will be reversed. And the information I'm about to disclose will put you at the top of the food chain. There's nothing you and I can do to stop it. But there is an answer. And if you stick with me until the end of this presentation, you'll meet one weird professor who's uncovered a proven way to shield yourself, your loved ones, and even your community from America's morbid coming mayhem. But first, who am I to make this kind of dark prophecy? My name is Alec Deacon. I'm the author of the bestseller, Backyard Liberty, the editor of Survivopedia.com. I've published articles seen on shtfplan.com, myfamilysurvivalplan.com, and of course, Survivalpedia. I spent almost two decades studying every last type of survival situation, and I am specialized in rural and wilderness survival. I know everything there is to know about bugging out, farming, supply stacking, home protection, you name it. And in the last couple of years, I dedicated my time to help anyone to survive any kind of disaster. But even more important, I'm a loving husband and father and a devoted Christian. I spent most of my life to making sure my family is 100% secure no matter what. I want them to be safe and know exactly what to do in case of an emergency or if God forbid anything goes wrong. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I love to prepare for the worst and each year I find myself more prepared both in knowledge and materials. But not too long ago I realized I was prepping for the wrong things the entire time. What I discovered trashed all my years of experience in a heartbeat. It turned all my preps and knowledge into dust. It made me feel like a naive infant. I recently came across shocking news about an untold catastrophe set to wipe out our entire country. At first I thought it was just a conspiracy theory. But I was dead wrong and what I saw sent shivers down my spine. Here's what it's all about. ISIS found America's soft underbelly. If you want to take down an entire country without too much effort and without having any money or resources, all you have to do is to destroy his power grid. Dr. Peter Pry, a former CIA officer, is the executive director of the Task Force on National and Homeland Security and the director of the U.S. Nuclear Strategy Forum. He also served on the Congressional EMP Commission, the Congressional Strategic Posture Commission, and the House Armed Services Committee. He warned us on air at a New York radio station, there is an imminent threat from ISIS to the national electric grid and not just to a single U.S. city. Outlining the threat, Pry told us about a leaked U.S. Federal Energy Regulatory Commission report divulged in March 2014. The report shows that coordinated terrorist attacks on just nine of the nation's 55,000 electrical power substations could provoke coast-to-coast -coast blackouts for up to 18 months. Pry explained the possibility of ISIS immediately hiring Mexican extremists such as the Knights Templar drug cartel, which last year successfully used guns and Molotov cocktails to attack numerous Mexican power stations, leaving 11 towns without electricity. Pry continues, 
Now, those guys are just across our southern border. That means that ISIS doesn't have to actually come to the United States on those U.S. passports. All they've got to do is contact the Knights Templar, wire these guys $10 million, I mean, they'll do anything for money, and say, hey, go across that open U.S. border and take out the electric grid in Arizona or New Mexico or Minnesota or New York or the entire nation. So something like that could be arranged. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen next week. And this is not a far-fetched scenario. It actually happened to our allies in the fight against terrorism. For example, in Yemen on June 9, 2014, ISIS allies in Al-Qaeda black out an entire country by knocking out power for 23 million people. For the first time in history, a terrorist attack on the electric power grid has blacked out an entire nation, in this case, Yemen. On June 9th, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, AQAP, used rocket-propelled grenade launchers and mortars to destroy transmission towers, plunging the whole of Yemen into blackout. The AQAP blackout of Yemen's electric grid has gone largely unreported. While the media's attention was focused on the brutal conquest of northern Iraq, threats to take over Baghdad, ISIS decapitation videos, hostage situations, and burning people alive, this much more destructive terrorist threat has been ignored for too long. And it's not a singular event. It happened over and over again. On January 25, 2015, Pakistan suffers a major blackout after a rebel attack, leaving 140 million people in complete darkness without any power for weeks. Radicals connected to the Taliban attacked critical transmission lines and short-circuited the national electricity grid, plunging the whole country into darkness. And there's more. In fact, there were three more attacks before that. The rebels attacked the electric grid three times since January 13, 2015. Those aren't isolated incidents. They show a pattern. Those terrorists learned the easiest way to cripple a country is destroying its power grid. And that's exactly what former Deputy Director of the CIA, Mike Morell, says. ISIS has the capacity to carry out a 9-11 style attack. And they can use Muslim fanatics who are already in the country. The consequences are beyond imagination. The Congressional Electromagnetic Pulse EMP Commission warned a nuclear Scud missile launched from a freighter could black out the U.S. for a year or more, killing up to 9 out of 10 Americans by starvation and societal collapse. What they don't say is you don't need a missile, a nuclear bomb, or a coordinated attack on nine power substations to take out our entire power grid. Building a single EMP bomb is easy and cheap and will have the same devastating effect to our power grid. According to Peter Pry, America may never recover from an EMP attack. Before telling you how easy it is to build an EMP bomb and how fragile our power grid is, let me explain what an EMP is. An EMP, or electromagnetic pulse, is an electromagnetic discharge that fries sensitive circuits within minutes, even seconds. Most modern-day appliances, the gadgets we use daily, and even the U.S. power grid all have sensitive circuits built in. Think of a normal blackout when you don't have any lights, heating, or internet. Only an EMP blackout is permanent and on a larger scale. This means you can also say goodbye to telecommunications, transportation, and even utilities like water. That's why CIA fears an EMP bomb might send us back to the Middle Ages, and they fear that it will happen this year. We would basically be sent back to the Dark Ages because we're so accustomed to have everything at our fingertips. Electricity is like the heart of the human body. When it stops pumping, everything shuts down. Your TV, laptop, fridge, your oven, cell phones, kitchen appliances, and the radio will be useless. GPS navigation, banking, and transportation, all your utilities, including gas, electricity, and water, would cease to work anymore. Power outages would be followed by nationwide blackouts, radio silence, and satellite breakdowns, leaving the world in total chaos. Imagine not having any electricity for days, weeks, months, or even years. No lights, no communication channels, no water, no refrigeration, no navigation systems, no gas pumping, no food transportation, no waste pumping, or garbage collection. No one in our country can survive something like this. During an EMP, civilization will be sent back to the Middle Ages and most people won't be able to cope. Imagine the smartphone generation forced to live like cavemen. Our power grid is America's weak spot. Before I explain how easy it is to build an EMP bomb, you'll first need to realize just how fragile our power grid is. P. 
People were panicking when the stock and bond system was downgraded to an A-. Imagine what would happen if people only knew our nation's power grid is rated a D+. The CIA knows. That's why they shiver at the thought of an EMP attack. America relies on an electric grid based on 1880s systems. It's so bad it could give out at any moment without an EMP attack. In 2011 alone, there were 3,071 blackouts in the U.S. That amounts to 85 days of blackouts, while the average duration of a blackout is three and a half hours. Just think of how often the power goes out in California or New York, and that's without an EMP. So in just a few years, the power grid might be overwhelmed by national demands. And here's the really scary part. This may sound unbelievable, but building an EMP device is not expensive or difficult. A small EMP device that fries your cell phone can be built with just a few bucks, some batteries, and spare parts you can find in a camera. Even 12-year-olds build EMP devices for science projects. There's no need for fancy technologies or billion-dollar investments to make it. And all it takes is not 100, not even 50, but just one warhead to be detonated above the U.S., and the effects would be irreversible. HEMP stands for High Altitude Electromagnetic Pulse. It's an EMP device that can be strategically detonated at an altitude of 20 miles above the surface of our country that will permanently cripple our power grid. And let's face it, the U.S. hasn't exactly been making friends over the past decades. North Korea, Iran, Russia, Afghanistan, China, all the enemies we've been making back since World War II have the power to detonate an HEMP over U.S. soil. And as if HEMPs aren't easy enough to build, any kind of warhead can be easily bought on the black market, especially an HEMP device. In fact, these enemy countries will gladly give this weapon to a terrorist organization like ISIS. They reap all the rewards of crushing the U.S. without any risk. However, the real danger of an EMP is it could happen without any signs or warnings. Unlike an economic collapse that's more like boiling a frog, when we would finally figure out that an EMP is struck, it would be too late. Just imagine you're heading to the kitchen to have breakfast. Usually you hear noise on the background, TV, radio, anything. But today there's a deadly silence, and you felt something's a bit off. You go to the kitchen and your wife tells you she can't cook breakfast because there's no power. You then notice there's no lights. Probably just a normal blackout. You pour a bowl of cereal and start eating it. You're halfway through your breakfast, but then you notice your neighbors gathered outside in one big disoriented crowd. Probably the blackout affected most of the neighborhood. That's when one of your kids comes over to complain that the cell phone doesn't work. You explain that it can't be charged because of the blackout, but you check your phone and it doesn't work either. Maybe this isn't just a plain blackout. So you go outside to talk to your neighbors. All of them experienced the same crazy stuff as you did. One of them has a radio. You can hear something. There's been an EMP attack. No invasion, but the power grid is down indefinitely. This will be the last time you'll see your neighbors like this. You know you're prepared for anything, but the possibility of an EMP attack never occurred to you. This is not a drill. It's the real thing. A week later, you're knee-deep in hell. You now realize that you're underprepared at best. Your food and water supply are almost gone and you're freezing. Most of the food is rotten and the kids are scared and cold. You managed to protect your home so far, but in the last couple of days, riots have started. People are starting to turn on each other. They went from civil to psychotic in just a few moments. They're desperate. They need food, and you still have some. Across the street, you see fire spreading on your next-door neighbor's lawn. Looters are running the streets of your once peaceful neighborhood. You haven't seen any of your neighbors in weeks. You might have to leave your home if you want to survive. You heard rumors about people being shipped off to FEMA camps. But that's not the place for you. Soup lines for your entire family? Is that what it comes down to? One of your kids has a fever. The antibiotics don't seem to work that much. What should you do? And this is just the first few weeks. It'll take years to restore the grid. You may think the government's going to step in and it'll get better, but it gets even worse. An event so catastrophic will trigger a number of death waves. The first people will die right after the EMP, the elderly and people on life support. Even though hospitals have backup generators, they'll be fried by the EMP. The chronically ill are wiped out next. Without hospitals or pharmacies being able to function, people won't be able to take their necessary medication. Just think about it. If you're diabetic, you might need insulin. Even if you have a large enough stash to last you throughout the entire collapse, insulin needs to be kept at low temperatures. And with your fridge out of commission, your stockpile of insulin will become useless in a blink of an eye. All other medications that are heat sensitive will suffer the same fate. The third wave of deaths would be triggered by poor sanitation. 
caused by no waste pumping or garbage collecting, and by the first death waves that obviously would create massive hygiene problems to the unprepared, triggering a massive pandemic. And the last death wave will be caused by desperate looters. They will prey on the weak and vulnerable. How do I know this? Americans riot just because their basketball team didn't win or because of some self-perceived injustice. Can you imagine what would happen during an EMP when all the power is out? Just remember what happened during Katrina or the London riots or during Hurricane Sandy. And that's not nearly the worst of it all. CIA Director James Woolsey's public conversation with Republican Senator Ted Cruz led to the shocking realization that 9 out of 10 Americans will be dead by the end of the first year. Our government has been using EMP protection within the military and its continuity plan since the Cold War. The President and his men are well protected against EMP, including when traveling on Air Force One. However, you, your loved ones, and the things you depend on to live are not protected. The Obama administration's list of priorities obviously won't admit EMP threats. Former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Newt Gingrich, has been trying to expose this threat and our vulnerability for the last couple of years, but most of his efforts were in vain. EMPs are one of the deadliest threats known to man. You, your family, your loved ones, and our entire nation could be wiped out in a matter of seconds, and no one's doing anything about it. Most solutions you will find on EMPs are just fantasy novels that fail to discuss real answers. They paint a pretty vivid picture of what's going to happen, but so do all the documentaries on EMPs that are out there. On the other hand, there's a bunch of armchair survivalist courses with stupid ideas, like put all your appliances inside a big Faraday cage. But how's that going to help? Things like your iPhone, for instance, will be completely worthless when all the communication networks are down. And of course, you can always wait for the government to fix the grid. But good luck with that. At the moment, they're not. Everybody's known about the grid's vulnerability for decades. We've known of an EMP threat ever since the early 60s. That's ten different administrations sleeping on it, and this one doesn't even care that the power grid is rated a D+. Why? Probably because they won't get any new votes by fixing the grid. They're spending trillions on Obamacare, but not a dime on the power grid. That's why I'm telling you all of this. You have to put yourself and your family first, because nobody else will. That's why you need to start preparing for an EMP now. But the solutions I found left me frustrated. When I realized what my options were, I was absolutely horrified. I was outraged nobody is doing anything about it. And when I found out that the White House is prepared for an EMP themselves, but nothing is done to protect us, the American citizens, I lost it. So finally, I decided to find my own answers. I spent hours in libraries reading books. I watched all the documentaries and interviews I could find. I looked for courses. I talked to all the survival experts I know. I even tried contacting NASA, but I got nothing. Lucky for me, my life was about to change. I almost gave up after spending months poring over research to prepare for an HEMP attack. Most information was useless. I had nowhere else to go. I was about to throw in the towel, but somehow I couldn't. I thought of my kid and the picture of him living in a dark age was unbearable. I couldn't just give up. He deserves better than that. My last hope was this peculiar professor I found online, Charles Green. He's an ex-college professor, physicist, and prepper, and he's fully aware of the likelihood of an EMP. He knows the devastating consequences compared to a massive hurricane or even an economic meltdown. That's why he became so obsessed with surviving an EMP threat that he took a two-year sabbatical to live in an Amish community. Let me explain. The Amish are a very unusual religious community. Modern life comfort is irrelevant to them. They live simple lives and maintain traditions that go back over 300 years. They grow their own food for their families. They barely use any electricity, and when they do, it's off the grid. They do this because their religion forbids them to. However, it's their choice, and they prefer a life with no distractions. You see, Charles's obsession drove him to a small Amish community in Pennsylvania. He had only one goal, learn to survive and build a community in a post-EMP world, and the Amish are the closest thing to that. Unfortunately, there's no audio or video recordings of Charles's experiences because the Amish forbid the use of any modern gadgets, so the only recordings are notes Charles took. In his notes, Charles described in vivid details the Amish way of life. He discovered plenty of ways to keep your food from spoiling without a fridge, and a secret Amish used to store heat-sensitive medicine, and surprising places where you can find drinkable water enough to sustain your family for months, even if you live in an arid region. Every talk I had with Charles was eye-opening. I never came across anyone so intelligent, knowledgeable, and devoted to the study of EMP survival. 
He told me virtually all of us, and this includes seniors and kids, can survive without electricity. The only condition is they need to know what to do when the power goes out. Sure, it wouldn't be a luxurious life or even a comfortable life at first, but your family, your loved ones, and even your entire community can stay alive. I was completely humbled by what Charles was showing me. I thought I knew everything about survival when in fact I was just barely scratching the surface. Here's the good news. Charles showed me secrets few preppers, survival experts, or even people from the military know. In fact, there are many things you can do right that will do wonders for you and your family. I was so amazed and thankful of what Charles taught me. I realized that this information had to be available to every family out there. It took some convincing. Actually, I begged and nagged him for weeks, and he finally agreed to put all his hard-earned secrets into a special program. His only conditions were to remain anonymous and to make this available for as many people as possible. We created a one-of-a-kind course on how to survive an EMP. It doesn't matter whether it's a solar flare or an HEMP bomb. You'll be provided with everything to be 100% prepared. Plus, if you're covered for an EMP, you're covered for virtually any disaster. Why? Because a permanent blackout is one of the toughest survival situations you'll face. In fact, an EMP creates this domino effect that triggers multiple disasters at the same time. A food shortage, an economic collapse, and mass pandemics are inevitable. And Charles's one-of-a-kind package Darkest Days, How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid actually shows you how to survive all these disasters at once. Charles's program is the only practical guide you'll find on EMP preparedness. And in fact, if you want your family to be safe when an EMP strikes, this is it. It shows you not just how to survive, but also how to flourish after an EMP hits America's reset button and how to do it all on a tight budget. The truth is, disasters usually happen in the blink of an eye. Who among us could have predicted 9-11? But unlike that tragedy, there has been proof of ISIS power grid attacks against our allies. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The government, FEMA, and the DHS continue to sleep on it. They don't even make an effort to tell people about it. But lucky for people like you and me, Charles reveals every secret to surviving a killer HEMP attack. Here's a glimpse of what Charles' program covers. You'll discover how to assemble a simple device that will shield your electronics from the EMP, and it does the exact same thing as a $1,499 Faraday cage, simply by using common parts lying around in your kitchen and 17 minutes of your time. And I'll show you what five vital electronics you need after an EMP strike. Missing out any one of these could mean that your family will struggle with the most essential things, like communications, light, and heat. You'll discover secrets from the Amish on how to prevent your food and medicine from spoiling, even if the fridge is down. You'll also know the seven must-have food and medicine supplies to have when an EMP happens, and exactly how much to store. You'll also know what first aid preps don't get ruined by age. How to keep your family under the radar when an EMP strikes so that hungry and violent looters won't even notice your presence. How to make sure that your car still runs, even though EMP fries car engine circuits. This is important because if you are planning to bug out without a vehicle, it's almost impossible to travel to a safe spot. And if you don't have a bug out location, I'll show you proven home protection strategies and traps that are guaranteed to keep any looter out of your home. And finally, you'll discover how to keep your appliances running while the entire U.S. power grid is down. There are three dirt-cheap ways to make your own energy, and each of them guarantees to keep your electric devices running. And believe it or not, there's more. If you get Darkest Days right now, you'll also receive two exclusive reports filled with tips and recommendations to help you with your preps. Keep in mind that this offer will later be off the table. First, you'll get Off-Grid Home Protection Systems, a special report on how to defend your home against violent criminals or looters. It shows you how to keep your home safe without any home protection systems and without any use of electric power. You will find out what are the best dog breeds in case of a disaster. And even though it may sound surprising, this guide explains how you can actually protect your home by planting defensive bushes. And in some cases it works even better than a $250 alarm system. And second, you'll get How to Make Your Own Pharmacy, the ultimate guide to survival medicine, a special report that will show you the natural treatment alternatives for a time when no doctors will be around. You'll know what natural remedies you can use, and you'll be able to find them with ease. You'll also find out how to prepare them quickly and the best ways to store them. Plus, when you get Darkest Days, How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid, 
Besides both of these bonuses, you'll also be getting unlimited access to the members area, where you can ask Charles and I anything at any time. We will be there to answer your questions and to help you if you need any clarification on anything. But now you might be wondering how much do you have to pay to get to know all these EMP survival secrets. If sold separately, each one of these bonuses would cost $39, but you can get all of them without spending a dime. How much is it worth to you to be the only reliable man in your community, to be independent, instead of waiting for the government to fix your problems? If this program prepares you for the absolute worst case scenario, or if this course instantly gives you all the knowledge, power, and resources to overcome not just an EMP, but any type of disaster, you'll have the power to protect and save your family, even to rebuild your community during the worst times. Food, water, shelter, electricity, you name it, you'll have it. You and your loved ones will be well protected when an EMP strikes and all the other people are turning into savages. How much is having this kind of information worth to you? I mean, think about all the stuff you spend money on, all your preparations, the food and water you store, the guns you own, the home security systems. All of them can become useless in a matter of seconds after an EMP hits if you don't know exactly what to do. Charles and I spent over 16 months developing this one-of-a-kind course, and that's not counting the years of research both of us put in. We did our best to make sure this is easy to follow and offers the best solutions for an EMP scenario. Also, this special program shows you exactly what you need to do in any type of disaster. By getting this guide, you're covered for anything. You'll never have to spend money on any prepping material anymore. Just think about the amount of money you're spending just on food. The average stockpile for a family of four for only three months costs about $1,900. That's just three months. If you truly want to be secure, you probably need a five-year supply at least. And it can all go to waste if you don't know the right thing to do. And it's not only about the money. Think of all the time and effort you're putting into it. You don't deserve to lose it all in the blink of an eye. We've asked some expert preppers what they think of the course, and most of them said they'd pay up to $500 for it. We've thought of doing that. We could have created a weekend workshop and charged $500 a seat or more. With Charles's teaching background, it would be the best choice. But you're not going to have to pay that today. For Charles, this isn't about making money. If it was, he wouldn't be living in an Amish community. He is truly dedicated to doing the right thing. Sure, we like getting paid for our hard work, but this is not what it's about. It's not about making a huge profit. It's about helping people out. So that's exactly why this program isn't going to cost you $500. It's not even going to cost you $250. Charles and I agreed that we wanted this to be available to as many people as possible. So that's why if this video is still up, you can get Darkest Days, How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid. You'll have the power to protect your home and family against anything for just a one-time special offer of $37. The only way to get it is to click the Add to Cart button now. For just $37, you'll get a copy of The Darkest Days. And you'll know not only how to survive an EMP, but also a food shortage, a mass pandemic, an economic meltdown, and violent riots all at the same time. You'll even know what to do in case the government goes AWOL or in case they declare martial law. You can only get Darkest Days here if you click the Add to Cart button now. This course will not be available anywhere else, and there's no way of telling how much longer this presentation is going to be up. So why are we offering all of this at such a low price? We're doing this because nobody else is. An HEMP attack is an imminent threat for the citizens of the USA, and like I said, nobody is doing anything about it. Our mission throughout this video presentation is simple. Let people know and get them to prepare. That's all we're asking for. The only thing we need is to cover the price for writing, printing, editing, and distribution. But in fact, the price doesn't even matter. To make this a no-brainer, I'm willing to take all the risk here and give you my no-questions-asked money-back guarantee for a full two months. Here's what it's about. Go through the course, read it, see if you find it helpful, and if you want, send us any questions or any kind of advice you might have. When you're done, you have to be 100% thrilled and happy with it. If for any reason at all you want to get your money back, you will get it ASAP. You don't even have to answer any questions. Simply send me a quick email located in the members area in the next 60 days and I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. As any former Survivopedia customer can tell you, we stand behind our products and we always, always issue refunds to our customers no matter what. After going through the program, you'll stay calm, collected, and protected when the rest of the world panics. You'll feel confident knowing what to do when the lights are turned off and when chaos unravels. When the rest of your neighbors are forced to barbecue all the meat they have in their fridges, you'll know the secrets to store it so your family won't starve next week. And of course, your family's going to have all the drinkable water you want. 
when others will die of dehydration or drinking dirty water. You'll have enough water to cook, drink, and shower. Plus, you'll discover simple techniques to keep you and your family protected against looters, criminals, and even the military. It took Charles two years of his life living in an Amish community, learning how to deal with living without electricity. He did the impossible and condensed all of his secret methods and techniques in this amazing step-by-step -step course. It's the only EMP survival course where you can learn everything there is to know about to be EMP proof. I've done months and months of research and there's really no other program like this out there. The way I see it, you have three options. You can hope an HEMP never happens and do nothing. Listen, I'm also hoping an EMP will never happen, but in the past 15 minutes, you saw undeniable proof that it will hit, and an HEMP attack is no walk in the park. Let's pretend for a second that it won't, though. Even if that's true, you know our power grid is weak, and nobody's doing anything about it. It will probably give out in the following year without any kind of attack. So what happens next? The power grid is down despite all our hopes. If you're one of the people that prepared, most of your stockpile and your preps will be useless in under two weeks. All the time and money you've put into keeping your family safe, all that effort, it might all be in vain. If you didn't prepare, you'll probably have to wait for the government to fix it, but you already saw the consequences of no electricity. Savage people will be running the streets, and you could be one of the targets. It could be too late for you to do anything, so the best case scenario is the government sends some help, and you and your family might end up somewhere in a FEMA camp until the situation is resolved. Or you could try to do it all yourself. Go through months of research and painful planning. You could even try to join an Amish community for a couple of years like Charles did. But there's probably no time for that. It took Charles about two years. And when I was doing my research, I would have killed for something like this program because the other materials out there are no better than fairy tale books. Why waste all that time and energy when you can get an already proven survival plan here? Or you can get Darkest Days, How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid, special program right now. It's the only proven to work material out there. If you want your family to be secure, to have warmth, food, water, and all the other things you need, then click the Add to Cart button and get this program now. You'll find out all you need to know to keep your electronics safe and secure, how to still have refrigeration, the best drinkable water sources, how to store enough heat-sensitive medicine for an entire town, and even all you need to know about generators. So there you have it. In this presentation, you've seen how a simple thing can permanently damage the U.S. power grid, and just how easy it is for any of our enemies to wipe out all electricity in our country, causing first off an economic collapse, then a food shortage, and a mass pandemic. You've seen undeniable proof of how weak and vulnerable our grid is, and of how this disaster will hit sooner than you think. By now, you already know all the catastrophic implications of an EMP, and how the government isn't making any effort to inform us, let alone protect the people. I've shown you how that Charles's amazing program will forever erase any questions you might have concerning EMP preparedness, because it's the only real solution out there. Instead of starting from scratch and going through all that stress, you can try out Darkest Days, How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid, a program where all the heavy lifting was already done for you. You'll have a complete EMP survival plan only if you click the Add to Cart button below right now. Plus, you'll have a full year worth of email access to me or Charles, and you are backed by my 60 days, no questions asked, money back guarantee. Simply send me an email located in the members area in the next 60 days, and I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. You risk absolutely nothing and have everything to gain. So go ahead, click the Add to Cart button below. Charles and I will be waiting for you in the members area. Still here? Let me just answer some of the most common questions you might have about Darkest Days, How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid, the only proven-to-work guide for surviving a permanent blackout disaster scenario. Why should I prepare for an EMP if 90% of all Americans will be dead by the first year? This course was specifically created for protecting your family and household. However, a huge part of the course focuses on protecting your community, and Charles's time spent with the Amish is proof that a large community can survive without electrical power. This is about making sure that you and even your entire community are part of the 10% that do survive. If all electronics and even networks like communication channels are down, why do I need a Faraday cage to store my electronics? As you probably already know, you are not alone. The prepping community is constantly growing. 
Having the possibility of communicating via radio can save your life in a post-apocalyptic world. Also, a Faraday cage isn't built to put your iPhone in it. You can store plenty of useful things like a flashlight or spare repair parts for cars. If EMPs are such an imminent threat, how come no other countries are preparing for an HEMP attack or EMP nuclear war? As a matter of fact, plenty of countries acknowledge the EMP threat and are taking precautions. As surprising as it may sound, France and China both created armies of carrier pigeons. According to the Chinese Ministry of National Defense, China maintains a platoon of 50,000 carrier pigeons with 1,100 trainers for communication in border and coastal areas. That's just one of the many measures taken. What are the immediate effects after an EMP attack? Despite popular beliefs, planes won't be falling down from the sky, and some cars, including newer models, might still work. However, some effects will be much worse. An EMP blast won't have any direct effects over the people. There will be no visible or noticeable explosion. The first noticeable thing will be lack of electricity. The effects, however, are morbid. The first death wave could come moments after the EMP, and in a matter of one week, our civilization would turn into a primitive and barbaric world. So go on. Click the Add to Cart button now and give Darkest Days a try. As I have already shown, you have nothing to lose. <laughs>